make the protein bars that you wanted to put in your kids' packed lunches. I really do. I can't wait for this. Okay, so yeah, Hannah please. is going to make apple and yep. I'm going to make chocolate. Um, it's really, really easy and they're vegan and gluten free so everyone can enjoy them. Yep. Um, we have to have two cups of ground oats. These were whole porridge oats but I've just put them in my food processor. Okay. Um, and whizzed them up. So two. 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 Or you can have a cup of oat flour and a cup of whole oats if you want. What would that do? Like change it? Well, it's not that much different because okay. this is like half ground. Yeah. Um, so you could be flexible. And obviously, like oats are a really good thing to put in your kids' lunches because they get all the slow release energy. Yeah. And it's and it's a prebiotic, so it's good for their stomachs. Um, I'm going to put a whole cup of um, brown rice protein in here. It's a really nice one because it doesn't taste so mild. So in baking, it's delicious um, and the kids can't notice. In fact, it adds a nice kind of creamy uh, flavour to what you make. We, we want to hide this, well, hide it from the kids, don't we? So yeah, but we don't want them to know that we're giving them a healthy thing. Yep. We want them to think that they get getting delicious. a cake. A cake. <laughs> whole cup? A cake, right, yeah, a whole cup. Is that good? Yep. Yep. It doesn't have to be exact. It's a really easy recipe. Um, you can just throw it together once you've done it once or twice. Okay. Um, so mixing that. Yep. And then we need some bicarbonate of soda, about a teaspoon. Mmm. I'm going to do it because I haven't got a teaspoon. <laughs> I like the style. Apparently. <laughs> Um, okay. And next we want sugar, you want a cup and a half. We've got um, coconut blossom sugar here um, because again, it's good for helping your stomach feel healthier than just using white sugar. And it's okay. whole sugar, so it's better. Well, I we can pour that in. Better for the small people to not go crazy. It gives it a bit more time for it to break down. Yeah, that's good at lunchtime, so we're not going to be giving them loads of sugar. No. But is that right? A whole cup? One and a half. One and a half. Yeah. You can do less or more. It's, that is personal taste, but um, the, yes, but you know, yeah. children like to have something sweet, don't they? Yeah. We want it delicious for them. Yes. I like things a bit less sweet, and this recipe isn't too sweet, but you can add more sugar if you need. I suppose you, if you were making this for the first time for them, could you use more sugar and then reduce it as they get used to having something like that in their packed lunch? Yeah. yeah, if your kids are used to having cakes on the shop, yeah. then start out with more and then get less and less. I bake quite a lot, so my, when I do cheat and buy cakes, my yeah. children complain that they're too sweet now. Mm, <laughs> that's great. But um, I think it's mostly the icing and stuff that yeah. they're not used to. Okay. Okay, so it's really easy. That's the dry ingredients. Yep, sugar. Um, you can add a little bit of salt, but you don't have to. You probably won't notice if we haven't got any in there. No. Um, and so then we have a cup of water. This is a luke, lukewarm. It does as long as it's not boiling hot. Okay. It, it can be cold, but the lukewarm helps activate the bicarbonate of soda a bit quicker. And what does that do? Does it? Well, it just helps it be fluffy. We're okay. not using eggs in this, so okay. we do need it to rise. Yeah. Um, I've got some oat yogurt here, um, and the yogurt is nice because it's it's fermented. So yeah. one, it's good for you, and two, it has that tang um, that also helps with activate the bicarbonate soda, and so it just helps it get a bit bigger. I'm going to say about a tablespoon. Okay. <laughs> in with the wet. Um, and then finally, I've got some coconut oil here. I've just stood it in a pan of hot water to make it liquid okay. because you could probably put it in not liquid, but you need a food processor or, or an electric hand sure. mixer. Um, and I'm going to dip, say, two thirds of a cup. The jar's a bit sticky, so I'll do it for you if you like. Go on then. Great. Um, and that's it. I mean, this is simple. It's a bit, it's a basic ot vegan cake you can use this for other things yeah. you can just make a nice apple cake or you can add fruit to it if you want and make a nice fruit cake 
you want it to be nice and um, loose so that you can pour it. So if you need more or water, just add a little bit more. I need some. What's the consistency going to be like once it's baked? Can we slice this? Is you you can slice it crumbly? into like a cake bar. Yeah. Um, and it does hold together quite well. It's a little crumbly. It's quite nice. The My children love it. Yeah. I normally just wrap it up in a little bit of brown paper and put it in their lunchbox or in a picnic or something and it's easy to take, yeah. take with you. That's what I want. Yeah. Something healthy and get rid of all that packaging as well. Yeah. You can even just wrap it in a little napkin or something. Is that looking good? That looks good. Maybe you might want a tiny bit more water, I think. It, it is okay if it's a bit thicker, but it's just a bit harder when it comes to the pouring into the tray. Yeah. Tell me how much. Like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Um, just to make it easy, when it's time to get it out of the tray, I've got this parchment paper. Yep. You don't have to be exact. If it comes up the edges a little bit, that just makes it easier to lift out. Um, and it will sink down into the tray more when you pour the back in. Okay, so this is for you. Okay. You want to put um, about half in now, okay. and then we'll put the other half on top. Okay. recipes that you can just throw together. Do I smush it round? Yeah, so make it so it goes around on the bottom of the tray. Yeah. It's okay if it's a thin layer because it's not, we're not having a big deep cake. No. Um, and you do have some more to go in too. Okay. And this is something really easy to make with the kids. Yeah. And it's so simple that after making it once or twice, the kids will just remember the recipe. Um, my children like to make this uh, without me. Yeah, that's great, because I think with my kids, especially if they're trying something new, if they can make it, they're more likely to eat it then. Definitely. <laughs> Which is always a good okay. thing. So this is some chopped apple, and I just put a little bit of cinnamon and coconut sugar on there. Okay. Um, so just sprinkle it over. All of that? Um, well... We'll see how we go. See how we go. I would put a, like a layer so there's okay. like an apple centre. I've got some nice dark chocolate um, buttons here. Um, obviously chocolate chips. You could just put squares of chocolate in. Yeah. It's also really nice for berries. Gosh, this cinnamon smells lovely. Um, you can put raspberries, blueberries, just mixed um, berries. Yeah, quite versatile then. So, yeah, whatever you Pretty like hot. in your in there really. You could put white chocolate in there, Ooh. or white chocolate and raspberry would be nice. I guess mm. it is, it's nice as well when you're doing it with kids that they get to choose. Yeah. And if you do a big tray like this, you can do one half with one filling and another half with another filling. That's good. And then everyone's happy. That's that perfect. Enough, yeah. yeah, really nice. Perfect. That's a nice layer. Okay. And then, and then you just put it on... Just like a little bit here and there, and then we'll just spread it over. It doesn't matter if it doesn't completely cover it, and the apples or the chocolate pokes out a little bit. When it's baking, it usually just all gets to know each other in the oven. It's a bit like porridge, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's got that consistency of porridge. Warm milk, warm, warm water and oats. Um, but, the, but it's it's kind of like having a nice bowl of porridge that you can take to school. Yeah, and my kids love porridge. Mine do too, but so, they like this even more, I bet. Yeah. Because they think it's cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm quite thick on my first layer, so. Well, you've got a small tray. So, with that recipe, you could yeah. probably do a much bigger tray. Um, but it doesn't matter whether you what size it's just yeah. it's deeper it's more like um, a cake and we've got done a bar but then yeah. you can have cake squares yeah nice um and so these go into uh, about 180 mm -hmm. so like a moderate heat 
and they don't take long. They take about 15 minutes once, once Quick, it's, then. yeah, yeah. Um, maybe 20, depend, it depends on the oven. But you can tell once you put a knife in and it comes out clean, then you know. I just lifted it out quite easily with the paper, but it's a little bit warm still. If okay. you let it get completely cold, it doesn't crack so much. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just being a bit impatient. Um, I normally cut it into not like quite small pieces that a child can eat, but it depends on how big you want them to be. Now, the cooler it is, the better it is for cutting. This one's a bit warm and so it's a bit crumbly, but it gets, but if you wait until it's completely cool, it's much, much firmer. But um, they're really, really delicious. They have, and they've, so they've got like a nice gooey chocolate center when they're warm that looks amazing um, and then when they're cold it's nice crunchy chocolate center and it's really easy to just wrap up put in a lunch box eat on the go cup of tea oh mm. and you really can't taste protein in there can you it just tastes like a mm. chocolate cake yeah that's <laughs> delicious the kids are going to love that 